Rob, how pleased are you with that three points today? Very pleased, I thought, against a team that are very high in the division. Um, we deserved it. Um, I thought we played, played well. I loved our control without the ball as well. I thought we had a lot of um, good moments trying to control the game when they had it. And we always looked a, a threat the other way. So, um, yeah, obviously winning the game is really pleasing. But I thought the performance was, was good enough to win it as well. You mentioned during the week about our starts to the game. Were you pleased with how we started the game today? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy playing when there's a little bit of... You, know, you might be a little bit short on confidence or um, you know the first pass that you don't make you, you can hear criticism and, and things like that so the players started the game well and the fans got behind that and it's it's really important that we built on what turned out to be a really good point on Tuesday you know I, I think I, I also I almost got into the position where I was apologizing for drawing a game on Tuesday so now you win this one suddenly it's been a really good week for us seven points return so it just shows how important those points when you're not playing well are. You mentioned it just then, a, a win against Northampton, who was second coming into the game as well. What pleased you most about the performance today from your players? Um, well, obviously, we made some changes. And I remember when I first got the job, it, I, I did mention that it was going to take everybody to contribute. We've got a, a hell of a fixture list coming up. We've still got loads of games in hand on teams around us. So it was just to try and freshen up and, to be honest, try and put a, a bit of experience in the team as well, so Jimmy coming back in, uh, Matty Dawn did, did very well. Players that have played here know what it's like to play here and sort of embrace that and I thought that the, the whole squad, the whole squad contributed to that and like you say, at the end the fans are, are singing and they're, they're really behind the boys and it really helped. The starts the second half as well was obviously a good one and it capped off with the goal from Tavon as well. Yeah, so it's great for Tav and we just wait for Josh to go past on his lawnmower. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, goal scorers don't have the need goals to build confidence, but I have to think we, we got a little bit more support around him and there was some good interchange of play. We changed our formation a little bit. I, I know um, you know people will look at it and say it was the same. We didn't. We recognised where we could maybe get an advantage over Northampton, so we played with wider forwards um, and it, it worked because they had to change shape a couple of times in the game so that, that's credit to the coaching staff for, for highlighting something but going back to Tav he, he's going to be a really good player he's a good player now but I think he's only got to be better and better the fitter he gets working with us day in day out um, him and Luke will complement each other really well in terms of where they are on the pitch so yeah really pleasing that he's, he's got himself a goal Seven points this week uh, I think it's just one one loss in the last eight now as well so do you feel like we're in a really good position now to sort of kick on as well <laughs> yeah but it's, it's funny you know I, I, when I speak to you guys and I do the press on the Thursday people mention about the winning and you haven't won as many as you should so listen we take it game by game I, I, I try and keep as, as calm and as balanced as I possibly can because I believe that's the best way for me to, to get the best team on the pitch so we won't get carried away with the week we've had yes it's pleasing I've just told the players there very good for seven days. Let's make it an even better ten days when we go to Carlisle on Tuesday night. James Ball to come off a half time. Is that precautionary from head injury? Yeah, exactly that. And obviously that means you can make that extra substitution, which is a great rule because it doesn't free up and uh, doesn't eat into your free subs. So I know there was lots of people shouting at me behind when Northampton did the four <laughs> substitutions. I don't know if it was made clear, but it was obviously um, a substitute because of a, a head knock. So... Uh, he's getting assessed now. He, he's, it, it was more of the, the cup, really. You know, he, ne he never, never lost consciousness or anything like that. But players' welfare for me is at the foremost, and, and we would always do that decision. How good was it to have Jimmy Kieran back as well? Yeah, Jim, again, Jimmy, an experienced player, and um, gives you a bit of flexibility when he's on the pitch. But you could, if you needed to, you could change formation because he's comfortable in, in two or three positions. Um, so Jimmy's played, I think, one hour of a behind closed um, doors practice game at Sheffield Wednesday. So for him to get through the 90 was really good. Corey came on and played a position up, which I think will suit him as well if, if we need to. So I, I can't really think of any player coming off today that hasn't contributed to the team. I think, I 
think the one thing I looked at today was the bench, and I thought that's a good bench. Yeah, it's strong, and it, it, what it also does is give competition for places, but means I can change change it around when I need to because no player in the way that I want to play, especially in those high intense positions of, of wing backs, forwards, midfielders, are going to play every minute of every game. It's just not physically possible when we go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturdays with all the games, we've got to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. These are second in the table now, their managers just said they've, they've not put in a good representation of themselves today, but what do you make of the division? Is it, is it really, is there much between teams, those at the top and... and I think you've got to obviously say that the league table doesn't lie. The teams at the yeah. top are there for a reason and the teams at the bottom are there for a reason. Um, that's the double we've done over Northampton mm. this year and we've been beaten by Forest Green twice in very tight games. So we beat Newport. Yeah, so I think what it says to me is when we're the best version of ourselves, we will beat any... or it gives us a chance, I should say, to beat any team. Now, the problem we've had is consistency and some of those draws should have been wins without a shadow of a doubt and that's how that's down to us so um, I, I would say that Forest Green are very good Northampton have been on a great run uh, and Port Vale have been up there and we've been competitive in those in those games so we need to make sure that we get the consistency that we're playing teams in and around us mid table to bottom half the table that we, we produce the same performances consistency wise you've not been being beaten have you? So no. there's some, a level of consistency. Well, it's a level of consistency to say that we're really um, competitive in the games. I think that would be the biggest thing. Um, now, some of those draws have been good draws. Some of them haven't been good draws because we should have won. So there's a level of consistency in the terms that we're competitive, but probably not in our play. Because if we play like that against the team that are second, if we play like we did against Port Vale for large periods... Uh, not Port Vale, sorry, that was, that was rubbish. But the game before against Forest Green... Then we're a match for anybody, and I think that's what we take away from it. That must give you great excitement, and you know you're probably not looking ahead to next season, but for the future. It gives me excitement going into Carlisle to think if we can do that again, and that's what we'll ask the players to do. But it gives us a good chance of winning that game.